G'day guys, we've got an applications of calculus question for you today. We've got a company that makes X washing machines per day. Now the cost to them of producing these washing machines is 2000 plus 100X minus 0.1X squared. Now we're asked to do three things. The first thing being that we've got to find the average cost per machine of producing the first 100 washing machines. The second being we've got to show that the marginal cost when producing 100 washing machines per day. And the third thing is we've got to show that the marginal cost when producing 100 washing machines per day is approximately the cost of producing one more washing machine after the first 100 washing machines have been made. So part C is quite a mouthful, but basically we've got to show that the cost of making the 101st washing machine is equal to the marginal cost at 100 washing machines. So let's just start with part A then. Okay, so for part A, to find the average cost per machine of producing the first 100 washing machines, all we're going to do is find the total cost of producing 100 washing machines and divide it by 100. So basically the way that we're going to do this, so let's just write down part A, is we've got the average total cost is going to be equal to the cost of producing 100 washing machines divided by 100. Now, if I'm going to do all of the working out, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sub 100 into our cost function. So we have 2,000 plus 100 times 100 minus 0 0.1 times 100 squared. And all of that, guys, is going to be divided by 100. Great. So if I calculate this, guys, I'm going to get 11,000 divided by 100, which is equal to... $110 per, per washing machine. Okay guys, so on to part B. Now we're asked to find the marginal cost of producing 100 machines per day. So the marginal cost, guys, is the cost added by producing one additional unit of the product or service. So it's the cost of the next item that we're going to produce. So the way we find this mathematically, guys, is if we have a cost function like this one, which is differentiable, we can take the first derivative of that cost function with respect to the quantity produced, or we can find the derivative of cost with respect to x. So in this case, when we're producing 100 machines per day, the marginal cost that it's asking us to find, we'll just write b, the marginal cost which is asking us to find, is it 100, is going to be equal to the derivative of the cost function with respect to the amount that we're producing. Cool. So what we're going to do, and we're going to evaluate that at x equals 100. So what we're going to do first is let's take the first derivative of our cost function. And this is going to be equal to 100 subtract 0 0.2 times x. Great. So now what we want to do, guys, is to find the answer for part b i.e. the marginal cost when we're producing 100 machines per day, is simply evaluate this when x equals 100. So we're going to go, well, dc of x, dx, when x equals 100, is equal to 100 minus 0 0.2 times 100, which is equal to $80. Great. Okay, now on to part C, which we're asked to show that the marginal cost of producing 100 washing machines per day is approximately the cost of producing one more washing machine per day after the first 100 washing machines have been made. And it gives us a hint where we calculate the latter cost directly. So basically, guys, what it's asking us to do is show that the cost of producing the 101st machine is approximately equal to the marginal cost when x is equal to 100. So basically what we're going to do is to find the cost of the 101st machine, what this is going to be equal to is the cost function evaluated at 101 minus the cost function evaluated at 100. And here, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to simply enter 101 into this function and 100 into this function. So when we enter 101 into this function, I get $11,079.90. And from part A, we know that the cost of producing 100 machines is 11000 Now, when I do this subtraction, guys, I get $79.90. And from here, guys, what we basically then have to show that this is approximately equal to the marginal cost at 100 machines per day. So the marginal cost at 100 machines is equal to $80. 
and this is approximately equal to $79.90. So we can say that we've shown that the marginal cost when producing 100 machines, which is this number here, $80, is approximately equal to the cost of producing the 101st machine, which is $79.90. So what you're going to find, guys, is as you continue to produce more and more machines per day, the cost of producing the next machine or the marginal cost will continue to decrease. And this is basically the economies of scale argument, i.e. that the bigger a firm is or the bigger a production process is, the cheaper that they can produce things per unit. And that's because the fixed costs as a proportion of the total costs become less and less and less. So I hope the video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos most days on economics, chemistry, physics, and a host of other subjects. If you have any ideas for any videos that you'd like to see me do, please leave them in the comments section below. and I'd really appreciate that. I'm always on the lookout for new video ideas. Until next time, guys, just keep practicing your maths. Maths is definitely a practice makes perfect kind of subject. If you keep bashing your head against the wall, eventually the wall will fall down. It's just a matter of time. But just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. But most of all, guys, keep enjoying yourselves. I hope to see you again soon.